This DIY hair growth spray can be used when you've got your hair in protective styles or when you've got your hair out like this. Hi loves! In today's video I'll be showing you how to make the ultimate hair growth spray. So I'm going to be using cloves and hibiscus for this hairspray. I stopped using cloves for about three months because I found it very drying for my hair and then I thought why don't I mix hibiscus leaves with the cloves because I know that hibiscus leaves is very moisturizing for my hair and cloves dries out my hair even though it does promote hair growth because it has essential nutrients that helps in aid in hair growth so I thought why don't I mix the two together and then spray it on my scalp and see how my scalp reacts to it while I have got my hair in protective styles so this is what I'm doing I added two tablespoons of the hibiscus leaves to I think about three tablespoons of cloves and I poured hot water onto it and allowed it to sit for about three to four hours before I used it this is how the diy should look like once it's ready it should have this dark reddish pigment to it i will now transfer it to my spray bottle so that i can use it on my hair This is how my braids look. I've had these braids in for almost three months. I wanted to keep my hair in a protective style for very long. And if you know me, you know I keep my braids in for a very long time because I'm just trying to retain as much length as possible. But if your scalp can't handle um, being put in a protective style for so long, then please don't do that. Here I'm just showing you my new growth. I am honestly excited and i can't wait to see my hair again fully out and about because <laughs> i feel like once you've had your hair in a protective style for so long and you have it out again it feels like you're seeing an old friend yeah i really miss my hair but i'm sure once i've got my hair out after two months i'm going to be like back to protective style because yeah my hair needs it <laughs> All I'm doing here is pressing my hair with the DIY spray and I intentionally wore black because if you wear a light colored or bright top while doing this hairspray, it is going to stain your outfit because of how pigmented the DIY spray is. I'm just warning you in advance, so please wear a dark colored cloth when you're using this hairspray. <laughs> I am mainly focusing on my scalp and massaging it in as I apply it. So that is what I'm doing here. Once I'm done with the hairspray, I use my Jamaican black castor oil. So I'm just using that because I want to seal in the moisture. The moisture might leave the scalp quickly if you just spritz your hair with the DIY hairspray. So I'm going to use my Jamaican black castor oil and my extra virgin olive oil to massage and seal in the moisture. And look at my face. I'm sure that felt so good. <laughs> Jamaican black castor oil also helps to promote hair growth and is also known to thicken the hair strands as well.
then i use my peppermint oil as the last oil that i will be applying onto my hair peppermint oil helps to improve blood flow to the scalp which stimulates hair growth and it also helps to reduce excessive breakage or hair shedding I've been using this hairspray for the past three months and I apply it onto my hair every other day and I make sure that once I'm done I use the oils that I've mentioned and I massage my scalp for at least five minutes to work it in properly. Here I'm just brushing out the edges to make sure it looks presentable. I'm going to keep these braids in for another three days before I remove them. And this is the final style. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Till next time. Bye.